Hello everyone, thanks for stopping by, it's Alison. Um, I'm just going to share this card with you today and it's used the brusho crystals on the front of the card. I'm sure there's lots of people that are familiar with brushos but there's probably people that I've never used them so I thought uh, it'd be a nice idea to share this and then you could perhaps give it a, sh a go and see if you like to use them. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I am going to stamp my, I'm just going to move this paper out of the way, I'm going to stamp my image and it's a floral image and I'm really sorry but I've taken it out of its original packaging and I'm not too sure where it, where it came from, it's just this floral image here. Um, so what I'm going to do first of all is just use the um, embossing body just to make sure there's no bits of dust on the card or anything and it's a piece of watercolour card and it's Crawford and Black and I've just cut it down um, to fit into this stamp perfect and um, so let's just pop this and then there's the embossing body let's give it a little wipe over okay there we go I'm just going to stamp, position that there, and move the sentiments. I did a happy birthday on the other one. I'm going to do a get well soon on this one. So I'll just pop, pop that down there. I'll just say why I'm doing this. I have said it before in previous videos, but does anybody thinking? About buying one of these stamp perfects, go for it because they're absolutely great for the money. For the price I paid for mine, I wouldn't be without it now. I definitely wouldn't be without it. I love it. So, stamps perfect all the time. So, what I'm doing is I'm just inking this up with using the um, Versamark clean embossing ink. And then I'm just going to close the door. Up. It's really difficult to see on this water colour card where the image is stamped and where it hasn't. I'm just going to go over it again just to hopefully get a better image. The beauty of this is the ink goes on the stamp and not all over everywhere like when you're stamping using a block. Let's just try again. Yeah, I think we've got that this time. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to emboss this using white Hero Arts embossing powder. So I do apologise for the noise that you're going to hear in a minute. So please feel free to turn down the volume. It won't take long to do this little bit. Making sure I've got it all. Yeah. And what I do is if there's any little bits of powder that you can see that you, you don't want, I just use this old paintbrush just for getting rid of it. I'm just going to pop this back into the... I'm just going to turn on the embossing gun so it's getting warm. And then I'll be back with you in a second once I've embossed this image. You can hear me, but I can see it now. The magic's working. I just love it. Still love watching them button how they change colour. There we go, that's that image nicely embossed there. I'm not sure if the camera's picking that image up or not. Hopefully you can see it. 
Now's the interesting part. So what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to just take the, put the mat down, craft the mat down. I'm just going to take this watercolour card, the piece that I'm working to, onto the craft mat when I can find the sticky tape. Just have it just to know everything. Right, never mind, I've put it down somewhere and I don't know where I've put it. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these brush show crystals and for anybody that's not used them before, they come in these little white containers and they're just called brush show. Um, different colours, they come in a variety of different colours. I haven't got them all, I've only got a few of them. Um, the colours that I'm going to use today are purple, emerald, Emerald green, sorry, yellow, and crimson. And I think just for good measure, we'll put a bit of turquoise in as well. So, all you do is what I've done is I've pierced a little hole in the top of these containers and popped one of these pins in because to take the lid off and shake it, you would just have far too many crystals. So, by you doing this, you can gauge better how many you're. So you just sprinkle some onto your, onto your card, wherever you might want it, just a little bit. And what happens with the embossing that we've done, it resists the brush shells and it's, it looks lovely at the end when it's all dried off. They all look the same colour when you're putting them down, but once the water hits them, it's I think it's it's great the way they all change colour. Right, I've got quite a lot on there now, so what I'm going to do is spray them. Just gonna get some tissue, tissue ready to dab with. Okay, so I'm just using plain old tap water in the spitzer. Look at that. Magic. So what I'm going to do is now I'm just going to pick it up, just try and see if the camera picks up all those colours. And I'm just going to dab because I don't want it all. Just dab over the work surface and cover your hands in it. I'm going to do is just put on the heat gun again just to dry it off it's it is better to let it dry on its own really but just for, for the sake of the camera and the filming I'm just going to dry it off with it using the heat gun so one second There we go. It's a bit well, as you can see, I think it just gives a lovely background, just something different. Um, and it's really quick and easy to do, but messy, but it's quick and easy. So I'm just going to wipe around here and then we can put the card together. Right, there we go, just get rid of that. Wipe my hands over a little bit, they're covered in brush hours. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make the card up now. And I've cut the card stock ready to save time. I'm just going to put it on a, I'm going to mat it first onto a piece of white card. So I'm going to have to cut it down. Um, just a size. Still a little bit damp, but I'll get on with it. Put a bit off the bottom. Take a bit off the sides. And a little bit off the side as well. I've got a much bigger cutter than this, but this is great just for uh, a 
one pound. Don't have to go away and do the cutting. Let's just see how that goes. Just need to take a little bit more from the top. Just to Order. Yeah, so that's going to fit quite nicely there. I'm going to put all the scraps away. So I'm going to use the ATG gun. We're going to try. See how we get on with it. It has a mind of its own. <laughs> there we go just going to put this onto this white piece of card. There we go, just onto the white piece and then I'm going to mount that onto our piece of black card stock. It goes on straight. And there's a cupboard. So there we go. Please, I'm just going to trim that little piece of that card that's sticking out there. Just to finish the card off, what I'm going to do is just add a few of these little black gems, rhinestones, whatever you want to call them, just in a few random places. Just put my fingers are much quicker. And then to finish it off, what I did was I just used my clear Wink of Stella pen and I just went over the flowers, the leaves. I hope the camera will pick this up for you to see. sure if you're going to get the sheen I'll tell you what I'll do I'll show them both together because this one I made earlier you might just be able to see the winter star on it. yeah you can see it more on that one so there they are happy birthday wishes and um you get well soon hope you liked it and hope you'll have a little go at the brush hours and see how you get on um, thanks for watching everybody take care